<clears throat> shalom, shalom. All praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. <clears throat> it is going to be a quick one to the spirit. And um, this was early today, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, I was at Plantation and I was uh, walking back from getting some coffee. And on my way walking back to the job site, you know, I ran I ran into this right here, which was a uh, American flag, all shriveled up and tangled up into this big ass branch. And this is just a nomen omen, you know, as you can see right here, the lesson. You can see the flag all shriveled up. <clears throat> and the Lord's been speaking through the spirit. You know, he's been speaking heavy lately. And um, so as I was watching this lesson, because, you know, I get back to uh, the job site. I was watching the lesson, re-watching it over. And um, what caught my eye was right above it. It says, Villains crossed out villains as you can see right there right on right above the flag it says villains crossed out all right and um the word coral in the top coral and um that word coral is a derivative color of red and the villains in the scriptures is esau He's the villain. He's our arch enemy of Jacob. These are our enemies, the the Edomites. All right, they are the they are the enemy villains, the arch enemy. And this is highly spiritual, man. This is highly spiritual how the Lord speaks, man. You know, this flag was right there to show you that the Lord is speaking, man. This man's kingdom is going down. And the Lord is showing us through the Spirit, through these signs. Edomites are the coral art enemies, the villains. You know, and I'm going to guess it's going to be a quick one. I got something here. Um, <clears throat> this is the color coral. And um, it says the various tones of the color coral are orange red and pink see so um core was a derivative of red all right representing esau edom being that red edomite all right now when you go to coral they had a um they had a this cartoon i remember my children's uh watched this a while back and it was a little sinister, but the uh, the wicked ass enemy was the villain was Coraline. So you get that name Coral, Coraline, Coral, Coraline. This was her. She's the villain in this show. All right, Coraline villain. All right, just another representation of what wickedness is, evil is. Okay, so this is is nothing. There's no coincidence with the Lord, man. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fourteen, verse nine. For the ungodly and his ungodliness, ungodliness, are both alike hateful unto Yahweh. So the Lord hates the wicked. Esau, Edom. That's why Romans 9 tells you that. He hates the wicked. Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. Let's go into the story of Esther during the time of Mordecai. One of the judges. Verse 23. Esther 9, 23. And the Jews undertook to do as they have begun and as Mordecai has written unto them because Haman 
the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, the enemy of all the Jews. See? And when you go into that, Haman was an Edomite. All right? He was an Agagite. Agag was an Edomite. You trace that back, they were Edomites. And they were always enemy of the Israelites. They had always been the arch enemy, the villain. And they had device against the Jews to destroy them. All right? And this is the whole thing with Esau from the beginning. To destroy and to annihilate Israel. That's the whole plan of Esau. And he's going to take one shot at it again. He's going to take it one shot at it again. As the scriptures say in Revelation 12. Let's go there real quick. <clears throat> Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. This man knows he has a short time. And the more time goes by, he sees more Israelites waking up. You know, he knows that his time is running out. He knows that the, the Lord is, is, is right there and he's afraid. Verse 16, 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. This is the Esau Edomite. The red Hebrew Edomite, our villain. Okay. Was wroth with the woman, which is Israel. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Which is the elect. Alright. Which keep the commandments of the Most High Yahweh. And have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Alright. So this man is ready to. You know, come down with us. He still has that same spirit as Haman the Edomite. All right. What was he devised? Devised against Jews to destroy them. All right. This is why he's <clears throat> he's the um, coral villains. He's our villain. He's our arch enemy. Let me see uh, what else. I think I had the definition for a uh, villain. All right. So, definition of villain is a character whose evil actions or motives are important to the plot. Right? Down here, what is the real definition of villain? Villain, an evil person. See? Scoundrel, a character in a story. Or play who opposes the hero, man. And what, what what has this man done? Huh? He is the character in the story. Because this is the Lord's story. This is his movie. And he's opposing the hero. Okay? Yahweh Shai. Alright? He's going to try to make war with the Lord. And the Lord is going to annihilate this man. Okay? He's trying to make war... All right, he's opposing who the Israelites as well. We read in Revelation twice to make war with the remnant of her seed. Okay, let's go here. Let's see what this says. Scoundrel. You know he's a scoundrel, man. All right, scoundrel, a rascal, a disruptible person, man. <laughs> All right, he saw Edom synonyms: baddie, baddie, brute. Brute, but what it says here, devil. See, devil right there, often capitalized. The personal supreme spirit of evil often represented in Christian belief as the tempter of humankind. We know they're going off, the leader of all apostate angels, and the ruler of hell, usually used with the often used as the interjection. Okay, demon, evil, spirit. Here we go. This is what we want. An extremely wicked person. Okay? Right there. An extremely wicked person, man. That's the real definition of devil. Esau, Edom. 
He is the coral villain right there. So I thought I just wanted to um, point that out through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Tawada, Tawada, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, Shalom.